Idaho, Southern California. So on my next backyard adventure, destination Lake Arrowhead Village. It's a beautiful day here on November 20th. Getting there, I'm gonna take a couple of toll roads. The first one being the 133 North, leaving out of Irvine. adventures in the backyard here in Southern California. I hope you get out and take advantage of them. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up through the boring parts. And the 133 turns into another toll road here, which is the 241. This is one of my favorite roads here in this area. In the springtime, the grass over the rolling hills is such a vibrant green. It's just breathtakingly beautiful. And even in the winter time here, the topography of the hills and the different rocks, and you may not be able to see it in the video, but there are different rock variations, different layers of rocks, a very beautiful drive. And yep, got the tire pressure warning light. I was tempted to continue on because the motorcycle felt fine, but thought I would err on the side of caution and go ahead and pull over and check it out since I had the equipment to do so and also had an air pump to remedy the situation if that is what needed to be done. It's time to get back on the road. drops us off here on the 91 East. Definitely one of the more challenging freeways in Southern California, but it's a good day today. I've got about 35 miles of this, so I'll go ahead and speed it up and get us through this part as fast as possible. Finally, the exit for Highway 18.
18 quickly turns into the base of the San Bernardino Mountains. And here you have a gradual incline, nice little twisty, gently twisty roads. About the next two and a half miles you get this scenery here so I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up I'll slow it down as we get our first glimpse of the panoramic view below it will happen over to the right in about a couple miles Voila, there it is it's so beautiful up here The temperature variation during this time of year in this area is probably, I think it's around 50 degrees. I think it got as low as 47 at the top on this date, which is um, November 20th. So I did look up some of the history of the Lake Arrowhead area. Um, it was once called Little Bear Valley and was inhabited by the Serranos Indians. There are different varying accounts as to how their history went down, but it seems as though there was a um, final battle between the gold industry, the lumber industry, and the cattle industry. Um, eventually, I guess in 1859, the gold was first discovered, and then between the years of 1862 and 65, there was a drought and many of the cattle ranchers started to drive their herds up into the mountains. Um, eventually they were overgrazing the area and then there turned out to be you know, little battles between the livestock owners, the lumber people and um, the gold people. Then eventually the forest service um, took over or actually kind of chimed in and began um, charging a fee for each head of cattle and then by the 1930s, um, most of the ranchers had, ranchers had at that point started to sell their land to developers and thus the creation of Lake Arrowhead. Tourism is the primary economic driver in the area up at the top. Um, it sits about 5,100 feet. And it's about 1,554 meters.
as you start getting closer to the top and start noticing the changes, changes in the vegetation, namely pine trees and more deciduous trees, the road changes, but the name of the road has been dubbed the um, Rim of the World Highway up here at the top. And while there are lots of pullouts to take advantage of the panoramic views, um, the one that I chose to pull out to was the uppermost one um, called the Donald S. Weeman Vista Point, or maybe it's Wyman, um, W-I-E-M-A-N. I had difficulty uncovering the story behind the name of this um, Vista Point. The only thing I was able to find was um, what was on the marker when you get there. In 1932, during the Great Depression, California launched a large public works project to aid recovery. The major component was the construction of masonry walls, parapets, I think that's how it's said, P-A-R-A-P-E-T-S, and fountains along the historic Rim of the World Highway. This work, widely acclaimed for its beauty and craftsmanship, was the handiwork of Donald S. Wyman. The Vista Point is dedicated to his memory. What's a cardboard on my bike? Huh. Just coming back to my GoPro camera to see if I can get a better, I guess, um, picture. I thought perhaps the wide angle lens setting was on, but it turns out that it wasn't. back on here. Swing a leg over and get the show on the road.
California. know how lucky they are to be on the top of the world. That view. to Highway 189. on for several miles, so I'll go ahead and speed it up in a few places. Lake Arrowhead Village. The 
parking lots are pretty full in this area. However, just to the right is more available parking since it's the furthest lot away from the village. In the village are several restaurants and shops. There's even a walk path that takes you around the lake. You can watch the ducks and you can even see the fish beneath the water swimming around. So this club in California is in your backyard. I hope this video has inspired you to get out and check out your surroundings because you're in a wonderful place with many activities and beautiful places. Thanks for coming along the ride with me.